Adaptation is one of the key thematic areas that we are working on as a nation. But uh, we want to look beyond adaptation now because we are faced with a lot of natural hazards. And when you, you refer to Vanuatu, you refer to multi-hazards. We are faced with tropical cyclones almost every two years now and the environment that we, we use to treasure uh, we have our traditional uh, you know medicine leaves that we use and the raw bush rubs that we use to build uh, traditional houses year after year when we are faced with category five or four tropical cyclones you don't find them anymore and it takes time for them to come back so slowly and slowly our young people don't learn how to build traditional houses in most of the islands now so we are also losing that it's hard it's hard to describe but it's a reality i think the challenge we have now is having that database or evidence-based information around loss and damage what is really loss and damage what are the criteria for us uh, when we talk about loss and damage to access the loss and damage funding mechanism. In general, uh, we see the Strength Project as a um, stepping stone for us in terms of supporting really with finance to really look into the gaps that we currently have to put us in the right direction. We have the loss and damage funding will support more initiatives. I want to call upon everyone again that climate change is real and we from the small island nations, we are at the forefront of the impacts uh, that we are facing, so it's a living reality for us. But at this COP, we really want political uh, declaration on the GST, especially on the around means of implementation and uh, we really need that support. No more time to beat around the bush.